so the next is Hadrian's Well, aka SCP-2418. Item SCP-2418, Object Class Safe. Oh, not too bad, yeah, not too bad. Special Containment Procedures. The property containing SCP-2418 is owned by a Foundation Front. Shell Hub, Cardwell, and Pedroti SAE, which is a black market antique dealership with connections to the Egyptian government and military. For more if Oh, wow, it's a black market owned by the Foundation. <laughs> Under the guise of temporal storage location for artifacts being smuggled out of Egypt. At no point should more than one person enter SCP-2418 except under controlled testing conditions. Testing of SCP-2418's anomalous properties require the approval of Site-42 Ethics Committee Committee Liaison. Wow, it's, a long, it's been a while since I heard the Ethics Committee. There is a primary operation hub for Red Sea origin, including Northwest Africa and Arabian Peninsula. All right. How? More down. I don't mean to do that. Oh God. All right. Anyways, description: SV twenty four eighteen is an ancient. Nanometer, which is a well with markings along the science used in antiquity to measure the level of the Nile and predict the severity of its yearly floods. Located in the basement level of the house in El Sheikh Abeda, a small town in southern Egypt, SB 2418 was originally constructed in the 13th century BCE by the Pharaoh Ramsay II as part of the temple to Isis and Osiris. The most recent phase of construction dates to circa 130 AD, when the Rome city of Antinobopolis was founded at the site of an older temple complex. SCP-2418's anomalous properties manifest when two individuals enter the water at the, at the bottom and one of these individuals dies of fixation. These individuals must be married or otherwise in a romantic relationship Close relatives, siblings, or a parent and child are close friends. The surviving individual will experience a powerful rejuvenating effect. The effects of aging will be reversed significantly in chronic diseases, sometimes including genetic or congenital conditions, will be cured. The strength of the rejuvenating effect seems to scale proportionally with the strength of the relationship between the individuals. And inversely, with the age of the deceased, in no recorded cases has an individual been rejuvenated to an apparent age of less than 25. SCP-2418 was acquired in 2011 as part of an Operation Herpocrates, a coordinated attack on martial cart in the dark assets in Egypt, during which Foundation use of combination of physical raids, political upheaval, and economic manipulation to effectively remove the presence of Marshall Carter and Dark and associated groups from the country. I want to give you a little bit of tidbit about Marshall Carter and Dark. If if you get money a little money from them and you don't pay it back with the interest they give you, they have turned human beings into anomalous slaves. They've done it. They don't give a shit. They'll do anything as long as it makes them money. Alright, now we can continue going on. Recover document 2418-1 per Praetorius Sempente Oculate Report. Latin circa 130 CE from the archives of the Vatican Office of Secrets and Prophecy Transculia Men in Chini, 1987. A well of rebirth of Antonius Osiris and of, and of Isis, very useful and not at all dangerous. A well in the city of Antignopolis, in the province of Egypt, used by the priests of the Egyptians to measure the rising and falling of the Nile. Located beneath the great temple of Antonius Osiris, and particularly sacred to that hero, if a man should go into the well and 
and certain secret rituals be performed by the priest of the temple, the man shall be restored to youth and strength, and his illnesses and frailties shall vanish, as he is blessed by Antonius Osiris. But the emperor Pu Publius Aelius Adrianus Augustus, having one once fall, more fallen ill, the curator Arcanarium Lucius Lucius Silas Aeter was tasked with finding a cure to his ailments and went to Egypt to seek the aid of the priest there, who had always been greatly respected by the emperor. In the town of Besa, on the upper Nile, he found a cult of priests whose order had been established by Ozymandias the Great, and to whom Alexander, Alexander and Ptolemies had gone for wisdom, wisdom and for healing. And when the emperor was informed of these miracles, he went up to the Nile to his temple and bathed in the waters, and his illness was cured. And since on a journey up, up the Nile, the emperor's favorite Antinius had fallen into the river and drowned. At the had risen up to, into the heavens as a god, the emperor paid for the temple and the well to be restored, and re dictated them to Antonius Osiris, and founded a city on the site, calling it Antinopolis, in his beloved's honor. The care of the well has entrusted it to the curator Archinorium, as he has had been so serviceable to the emperor and the empire. The well is currently under the care of Lucius Caecilius Ater, curator Arcaninorium, for Publius Aelius Adrianus Augustus, and the priesthood of Antonius Osiris. The emperor has forbidden use of the well, and none of the, none other than him are to enter it. The secret of the ritual is is known only to the emperor, to the priest, and to Caecilius Aeter. It is believed that some of the priesthood of the temple may not be loyal citizens of the empire, as they are Egyptians and Syrians, many of them possibly sorcerers, and that they have may have some connection with this subversive group of criminal sor sorcerers and witches known as the form Tenebris. Caecilius Aeter is pledged to investigate this matter, but has not yet found any evidence of disloyalty or criminality among the priests. Notably, notably, the CPSO were apparently unaware of the exact method of activation. Recovered documentation, document 2418-2, to an inscription, Castel Saint Saint Angelo, Greek circa 138. AD inscribed on a marble plaque inside the tomb of the Emperor Hadrian. The original inscription is an esoteric collection of the Vatican Museum. Trans von Grumet, 1965. Antonius, most beautiful, most wise, forgive me, I beg of you, great God, for placing your life's worth below my own. Kings and emperors may rise and fall, one not much different from the other. The great beauties are eternal, heavenly. For one unique, each one perfection, and in my sickness and in my hubris, I, a mortal man allowed to touch divinity, destroyed such beauties just to save my life. Forgive me, I beg of you, great God, Antonius, most beautiful, most wise. Recover document 2418-3, Marshall Carter and Dark Item Log. Alright. Let's see, how long is this? Okay, it's not that long. Alright. Alright, so let's get through this, then watch the video. Well, actually... I think I'll watch the video because I don't think they will... go into it. If they do, we can, we can double check. Alright. So, oh wait, first. But this can be considered clickbait.
Sounds good. Here. I don't think it's that heavily clickbaited compared to the others. For once, is more of a naked man <laughs> than a woman. Yeah. I don't think it's as bad. So maybe a two? What do you think? And if a bit is a bit much, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Are you thinking higher than two? Two sounds about right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Do you have? You do. Good. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one. The curator Arcanorum, Lucas Ader, looked down into the nilometer. The raids had increased in frequency lately. No doubt the work of Marshall, Carter, and Dark. That ancient organization surely wanted one of their oldest and most powerful artifacts back. Lucas had been entrusted by the Foundation with its safety and upkeep, but he was getting old now, and the stress was wearing upon him. Lucas. Lucas, are you still there? I'm sorry, I was lost in my own thoughts. Yes, Dr. Kraus. Of course, if you think the issue requires your attention, you are most welcome. But I tell you again, it Wait, is he supposed to be Egyptian? Oh, fuck. Sorry. Hold on. He said his name is Lucas. Wait, hold on. I actually don't see any... Oh, yeah, Lucas Cecilius. I guess that's how you're supposed to say it. But... It's alright. Wait, I... He doesn't look Egyptian. He looks white. So did they whitewash? Again? Or it... it... Or am I getting this wrong? Do you, you do you also think this book were It's iffy, yeah. Cause I'm I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Egyptian. But anyways. The curator Arcanorum, Lucas Ader, looked down into the nilometer. The raids had increased in frequency lately. No doubt the work of Marshall, Carter, and Dark. That ancient organization surely wanted one of their oldest and most powerful artifacts. He might have been a little bit. Lucas yeah. had been entrusted by the Foundation with its safety and upkeep, but he was getting old now, and the stress was wearing upon him. Lucas. Lucas, are you still there? I'm sorry, I was lost in my own thoughts. Yes, Dr. Kraus. Of course, if you think the issue requires your attention, you are most welcome. But I tell you again, it is not necessary. We have the matter under control. My son can manage. Maybe so, but ah, SCP-2418 okay. is too valuable to be lost. I'm on my way. Yes, of course, you honor me, Saeed. Okay, so they got one character. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-2418, Gift of Let's see if the last statement made me a so, yeah. what's the story right, behind this thing? Yeah. The quick version? Ancient Deep Well restores you to your youth. Nice. nice. What's the catch? The catch? I've been on this job long enough. There's always a catch. When you're right, you're right. You need a sacrifice. And not just any sacrifice. Someone who really means something to you. A wife, child, you get the idea. Rough. Life for a life, eh? Kloss nodded as he looked out the window. Okay, not as bad. They wouldn't have the, the fucking logo on their plane. All sorts of artifacts and anomalies have been stored here for generations. 
Lucas's ancestors, dating back hundreds of years, had all been entrusted with the care and maintenance of the Nihilometer, and in later times, other occult artifacts from Egypt's past. This is my son, Luke. He will soon be taking over from me when I'm too old and frail to do the job anymore. Don't exaggerate, Lucas. I'm sure you'll be with us for a long time still. You honor me, Saeed. Let us take a look at the reason you've come all yeah, the way I don't here, think shall we? Luke's not part of that they article. walked down the turning stairway. In the bottom of the well, ominous glowing blue water stirred. The waters from the well that entered the lower chamber were blessed by the god Osiris and had enormous healing powers. Legends told of how the Roman Emperor Hadrian had renamed the temple in Nilometer okay. in honor of his dead beloved, Antinous. The okay, new god, so they get two Osiris characters. Antinous, granted new life but to barely. those who had the fortitude to sacrifice someone beloved to them. So, you said the attacks have increased in frequency. Yes, we believe it to be Marshall, Carter, and Dark again. I believe an old friend of mine, from my youth, is leading them and giving them my secrets. Understood. I don't see any alternative. We need to move it. Move it? Are you sure something so drastic is necessary? At least temporarily, yes. But I'm too old. I can't go with it. Your son, Luke, he can take over for you. At least for now, until we can move it back. Luke? Luke, yes, yes, you honor us, Sayyid. A good choice indeed. Chen patrolled the area surrounding the temple. They had received reports that agents of Marshal Carter and Dark had been spotted in the vicinity. Luke, you up for this? Your dad spoke highly of you, so I'm expecting you to hold your position and do your job, no matter what happens tonight. Got it? Luke nodded his head. Shortly past 2 a.m., a man in a kafiya approached the front gate of the compound. They approached the man slowly, having radioed in that a possible situation was developing at the north gate. An explosion from the south gate tore through the fence. As the emergency sirens came to life, a Humvee tore through the southern perimeter, hitting for the warehouse. Chen grabbed Luke. Go back inside. I need you to hold the interior in case they get past us. And find your father. Make sure he's safe. The Humvee was overturned, having hit a small supply shack near the entrance it came through. The agents slowly approached, weapons trained on the vehicle. Empty. There was no one inside. It suddenly what? dawned on Chen. Diversion! All units, north entrance, now! As they reached the northern perimeter, they saw the two agents, dead. The kafia, the man who had approached, lying on the floor next to them. Get to the temple. They're already inside. The agents came through the warehouse. It had been left relatively unguarded within, as they hadn't expected anyone to get this far. As they moved towards the temple, they saw a few dead agents on the ground. From within, they could see an eerie, glowing blue light. Wait, they hold on, hold on. They just said that they left it unguarded. Then they said that they had a few dead agents. Is it unguarded, or was it guarded? What? Okay. Down the stairs, moving slowly, but heard nothing from below. As they reached the bottom of the well, they saw Luke, unconscious on the steps. At his feet, in the water, was a corpse. Oh my god. It looked like it had had the life drawn from it. On the other side was the man who had breached the northern gate. A gunshot wound to the head had sealed his fate. Luke! Luke! Wake up! The man slowly opened his eyes and focused on Chen. What? What happened? You must have been knocked out. Your father. He's dead. I'm sorry. Do you know what happened? All I remember is coming down here and seeing father struggling with that man. The next thing I knew, you were here. He must have died stopping him. Do you recognize that man? I'm not sure. He does look a bit familiar. Perhaps from my childhood. Why? Just a hunch. It looks like he tried to use your father to rejuvenate himself. Never mind that now. Let's get you up. Take my hand. Thank you. You honor me, Sayyid. Ah, uh, what?
The property containing SCP-2418 is owned by a foundation front, Shaloub, Caldwell, and Pedroti, under the guise of a temporary storage location for artifacts being smuggled out of Egypt. At no point should more than one person enter SCP-2418, except under controlled testing conditions. Testing of SCP-2418's anomalous properties requires the approval of the Site-42 Ethics Committee liaison. Okay, that's correct. SCP-2418 is an ancient nilometer located in the basement level of a house in El Sheikh Abada, a small town in southern Egypt. SCP-2418 was originally constructed in the 13th century BCE by the pharaoh Ramses II as okay. part of the temple to Isis and Osiris. Yes. The most recent phase of construction dates to circa 130 AD, when the Roman city of Antonopolis was founded at the site of the older temple complex. SCP-2418's anomalous properties manifest when two individuals enter the water at the bottom and one of those individuals dies of asphyxiation. These individuals must be married or otherwise in a romantic relationship, close relatives, siblings, or a parent and child, or close friends. Mm -hmm. The surviving Correct. individual will experience a powerful rejuvenating effect. The effects of aging will be reversed significantly, and chronic diseases, sometimes including genetic or congenital conditions, will be cured. The strength of the rejuvenating effect seems to scale proportionally with the strength of the relationship between the individuals, and inversely with the age of the deceased. In no recorded cases has an individual been rejuvenated to an apparent age of less than 25. SCP-2418 was acquired in 2011 as part of Operation Harpocrates, a coordinated attack on Marshall, Carter and Dark Assets in Egypt during which the Foundation used a combination of physical raids, political upheaval, and economic manipulation to effectively remove the presence of MCND and associated groups from the country. Recovered documents from circa 130 CE tell the story of how the Emperor, Publius Aelius Hadrianus Augustus, came upon yep. the Temple of Osiris and the Nilometer. Having been very sick, he was told of a place that could heal him. Upon meeting the Curator Archonorum, one Lucius Cecilius Adder. He was taken within the well and shown the powers it held within. He was told how Ozymandias the Great had established a temple and how Alexander the Great and the further Ptolemies had taken great solace and healing from it. Around this time, Hadrian's beloved, Antinous, had fallen ill and perished. Hadrian had the temple fully restored and rededicated to Antinous, elevating him to the god Osiris Antinous. He placed the well and the temple in the care of the Curator Archonorum forevermore. Hadrian's health was restored to him shortly thereafter. Upon discovery of his tomb in 1965, a marble plaque was discovered with the words, Antinous, most beautiful, most wise, forgive me, I beg of you, great God, for placing your life's worth below my own. Kings and emperors may rise and fall, one not much different from the other, but great beauties are eternal, heavenly, each one okay. unique, each one perfection. And in my sickness and my hubris, I, a mortal man allowed to touch divinity, destroyed such beauty just to save my life. Forgive me, I beg of you, great God, Antinous, most beautiful, most wise. It just goes to show. Hey, wait, no gift hold on. Without a That's not how an anomaly works. You both go together in the water. And one of you will die of asphyxiation. As far as I'm aware, let me go double check. Alright, we're in two individuals in. Enter the water at the bottom of one of these individuals dies of fixation. Yet they both have to go in the water. Yeah. God. Okay. Alright, before I do go to here and do the thing. Well, here's one thing. They didn't include any of this. Which is connected to the well. And recorded by the person. So. Granted it's not in the document. 
but it is kind of important. So there is that. All right, let's see. It's pretty good until this point, yeah. Actually, here's another thing. They only called it the Temple of Osiris in the video. They didn't call it Isis, too. And I think I know why. Because of a certain group called by that same name. But it is, it was part of the Temple of Isis and Osiris. Not just Osiris. Yeah. So, I wouldn't exactly call it a, a character taken out. We'll probably go towards the DV. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if they got rid of any characters. Yeah, of Atonius and Osiris and of Isis. They only called Osiris. Alright. They kept his name. Get his name in here. Whom as their in? Well, actually, they didn't include Ptolemies. And correct me if I'm wrong. They, I don't think they said Ozymandias the Great. They did Alexander, Alexander the Great, but I don't think they did Ozymandias the Great. You can correct me if I'm wrong, Bookworm. But I don't think I heard them say that. I think they did. Oh, you think they did? Okay. So just Ptolemy, Ptolemies. Okay, so Ptolemies so far. Oh, hell, they didn't even mention the. I think they said Osamis and Ptolemies. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. Well, they didn't mention. This part, where they talked about the Egyptians and Syrians, instead of just being Egyptians. So, I, I guess that, would Syrians be technically, removal of characters and license? Would that be part of that group? It was all brought together, I think, oh, true. Or the Forum Tenebris. They didn't talk about the Forum Tenebris. They, they said that there might be a, one person leading to the uh, Marshall Carton Dark, but they didn't talk about Forum Tenebris. As in the history, maybe? That or the plot, yeah. Yeah, that or the plot, yeah. I think they just mentioned it was just Egyptians and stuff like that. Okay. So we do have one person, or well, a person, a group of people, called the Forum Tenebris that were not mentioned in the video. I'm not sure if you want to count, like, only Egyptians and Alexander the Great and stuff like that being mentioned. It's like a two, yeah. Two wasn't that bad. Added gore or violence. They did add violence, because it was not mentioned at all that the GOC, once they, once the Foundation got the anomaly, that the GOC attacked again. Unless it's in here that they mentioned it. But I don't think that it's, that was happened. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, January 13, 1666 AD. And a copy was going to live from a Terran breeze. Gabriel Josiah Carter, 1923. Yeah. No, they did not attack. Yeah, three or four. Yeah. I, I'll go with... I'll go with three. Because it wasn't... Like, we didn't... Well, actually... I'll go with four, because they, they did add multiple fucking corpses, too. Yeah, probably four. 
Devious weren't a part of the article. Yes, it does. Very much so. Because remember that one part where I stopped it where they said, and I quote, we left this area unguarded because we didn't think anything would happen. Then all of a sudden they say, oh yeah, there's a bunch of MTF corpses in here. Like, what, what, was it guarded or was it not guarded? You, you can't, it literally took one sentence to immediately change the entire fucking story. Like, one sentence. Oh my god. I think they might have less guarded, but fair. Yeah, but they literally said unguarded. <laughs> oh. And plus, it only got to the plot of the article at the very end. Everything else pretty much did not happen, including if extra characters that weren't even in the article. Like Luke. Luke wasn't even in the article. They don't even exist. And also, no ISIS can make it a, a three or four. Oh, uh, yeah. ISIS taken out, too. YouTube might have... Probably because they didn't say ISIS. YouTube might have, like, flagged them for saying ISIS. Probably. She is basically the only woman. <laughs> it's a guy that's so gender is eh. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's why I suggested three here. Yeah. So technically, since Isis is a woman, to be lenient because YouTube, yeah. Should we, like, give a rating for only men in a video? Because Isis technically would be the only woman in the video. Except for that, um, that fucking, wait, what's the person? Except for, I forgot who's white, I think was sacrificed. I forgot who. Or was it a wife? No, wait a minute. Antonius was, was a dude, right? That's what I was talking about, but yeah. But three for pot also sounds good. Oh, three, two for, uh, for only men, yeah. I assume so, yeah, okay. So we got our rating there. Everything look correct so far? I think so. Okay. Alright, let me do... Let me add up everything. Thirty. Oof! This took a dive. Thirty percent. That took a dive. 